Every baby is special. Every birth is a miracle. But sometimes, nature surprises us in the most unexpected ways. Today, we're going to share the story of a newborn baby born with an extra finger, a condition that caught everyone's attention in the delivery room. It's a story not just about a rare physical feature, but about how perfectly imperfect nature can be and how modern medicine helps parents understand and manage such unique situations. It was a normal delivery day in our hospital. The medical team was fully prepared. Everything was ready for another beautiful arrival. The mother had a smooth labor. Her baby cried immediately after birth. A healthy, strong cry that brought smiles all around. But as we gently examined the newborn, something instantly caught our attention. On one of the baby's hands, there was an extra finger. For a moment, everyone paused, surprised, curious, and amazed. It wasn't a dangerous finding, but it was rare and unique. It's a condition where a baby is born with more than five fingers or toes. It can happen on one hand, both hands, or sometimes even on the feet. This condition is more common than most people think. About one in every 500 to 1,000 babies may have some form of polydactyly. There are three main types, 1. Preaxial polydactyly, the extra finger is on the thumb side. 2. Postaxial polydactyly, the extra finger is on the little finger side. 3. Central polydactyly, the extra finger is in the middle, which is very rare. In this baby's case, the extra finger was on the little finger side, the most common type. The answer lies in the early weeks of pregnancy, when a baby's hands and feet are developing. Normally, during the first few weeks in the womb, small buds form that later separate into fingers. Sometimes, due to a minor genetic variation, one of these buds splits or forms an extra one, resulting in an extra finger. This can happen randomly or sometimes it runs in families. After the birth, doctors always do a complete examination. We check the baby's heart, lungs, joints, muscles, spine, eyes, and other organs. This ensures that the extra finger is an isolated finding, meaning there's no other underlying condition. In this baby's case, everything was completely normal. The extra finger was soft and attached by a small piece of skin with no bone inside. This is known as type A or type B polydactyly, depending on the structure of the finger. If the extra finger is well-formed and has bone, it may require minor surgery later. If it's only skin and soft tissue, Doctors can sometimes remove it safely with a simple procedure. The parents often ask, when can it be removed? Doctors usually recommend waiting until the baby is a few months old, so the baby is stronger and surgery can be done safely under local or general anesthesia. Some parents choose to keep the extra finger as a mark of uniqueness, and that's perfectly okay too. For babies who undergo removal, the procedure is usually quick and simple. The area is cleaned and numbed, uh, the surgeon carefully cuts the extra finger. The small wound heals within a week or two. If bone or joint is involved, it may require a small operation in an operation theater. After surgery, the baby's hand looks normal, and there are no long-term issues with function or growth. The child will be able to use the hand normally, just like any other baby. Did you know that in some ancient cultures, having an extra finger was considered a sign of luck or power? In old times, people believed it symbolized strength, uniqueness, or divine blessing. Even today, some parents prefer not to remove it. They see it as a natural gift. But in most modern cases, parents choose removal for cosmetic reasons, especially if the finger affects the baby's hand movement. To every parent watching this video, if your baby is born with an extra finger, please don't panic. This is not a disease. It's not a defect. It's just a small difference in development, and it's easily manageable. Your baby is healthy, strong, and beautiful just the way they are. As doctors, we always remind families, every baby is a miracle, and every birth teaches us something new about the wonder of life. This video is for educational purposes. We share real-life neonatal and pediatric cases to help parents understand different conditions that may appear at birth. Our goal is to spread awareness, not fear, and to show how medical science helps babies live healthy lives. The baby born with an extra finger grew well, smiled early, and is completely healthy. 
that extra finger might be gone now, but it will always remind the parents of how unique their little miracle truly was. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more real and educational stories from the neonatal world.